So, I'm something of a fan of Julian Illit and the videos he puts out on YouTube. And um, ha having seen a variety of, uh, well, actually, he's a good chap, but he's um, done videos on this digital boost converter, this power supply, this other boost converter. Um, I recently had a bit of money to spend, so I uh, finally got around to buying some of the interesting looking toys he had. And um, I, I thought I'd do my own little review of this boost converter because. Um, he, he, in his review he called it almost perfect and I, I don't quite feel the same way about it myself. So um, I'll just run you through what I've found here and the problems I've found with it. Now this converter is supposed to work from 6 volts up to about 40, 50, 60 volts input. Um, basically less than 80 volts input it's supposed to work okay. Um, I've, got my, now the, I've got my power supply here set to 6 volts and the first thing I do when I get anything like this is I set a current limit on the power supply just to make sure if I get the wires set the wrong way around it won't blow up. So at the moment you can see I've got it set to about half an amp current limit on there. So um, I came along and I attached the power leads and the power supply failed to start up and you can see it's drawing half an amp of current it's got a very faint E on the screen, but it hasn't actually managed to start up. So I thought that was a bit strange because there's no load attached to it. So I'll crank the voltage up a bit, we'll give it 12 volts on the input. Try that again. And again, we're pulling half an amp of current and the units failed to start up. So I was a bit puzzled by that to begin with, but um, in the end I just cranked up the current limit and uh, lo and behold it actually starts up okay. So. I've now wound that all the way up to the maximum the power supply can deliver, which is three amps of current. There you go. Um, and I'm going to crank this down a bit, back to sort of eight volts or so. Now my test load is um, a string of Christmas tree lights, and I've got ten of these Christmas tree lights. They're 2.4 volt bulbs, um, making 24 volts the ideal voltage for driving on. So if I hook these up directly onto the uh, power supply here. You can see that at sort of 8 volts they only very very dimly light up. So uh, the next thing I did was I hooked them up to the boost converter and I thought I'd uh, give them a try. The boost converter is set for 12 volts. We'll drop that down a bit just to be sure and we'll set it for less than the input voltage. So there we are, 6.75 volts oh, um, and saved that. So confirm that when I switch it back on again it does indeed think it's going to put out 6.75 volts but of course the output is switched off at the moment anyway. Now if I hook up these Christmas lights here we are, we've got our Christmas lights hooked up to the output now you can see very dimly lit because the power supply is turned off and isn't doing any boost function so it's just getting the 8 or so volts direct from my power supply but if I turn that off and then back on again we're now pulling 3 amps from the power supply it's pretty much zeroed out the voltage and these lights are clearly much brighter than either the 6.75 volts that I'd set and saved in the boost converter and I haven't switched the thing on yet um, so I was rather puzzled by that, so let's see what's going on there. So even with the boost converter not actually started up yet, and an output set for 6.75 volts, and an input that will be no more than 8 volts, we're getting nearly 19 volts out of this boost converter before it does anything. And the thing has failed to start up because it's hit the current limit on the power supply. If I briefly disconnect and reconnect the Christmas lights, now the converter's started up properly, um, and it now registers 6.75 volts on the display and the lights are dim but its startup condition seems to require it to get the output to something higher than 19 volts and it's um, failing to do that with the lights attached. So if I disconnect that again we start up OK, boost converter started. So I thought I'd see what was going on with that and my multimeter actually has a max min function on it where it'll record the voltages Right, so now when I power it off, we're at our new low voltage and back on. And we'll try that a couple more times. You can see it rises to nearly, there we are, 25.72 volts it's hit on the output. 
and I haven't even switched the thing on yet. It's an 8 volt input, it's got no load on the output, and it's hit 25.72 volts just to switch itself on. So if you had anything attached to the output that needed less than 25 volts, um, or that would be destroyed by as much as 25 volts, that's something of a problem. Um, now, it's not the case that my Christmas lights are drawing a huge amount of current. Now that we've powered the thing up, now that it's actually initialised, you can see we're pulling, you know, 100 milliamps or so um, driving those lights. OK, now we'll actually use the boost converter for something, so I'll crank the voltage up to 24 volts. 2, 3, 4, 24.29 and we'll enable the output. So here we go, ramps up very slowly. And you can see our Christmas lights are getting nice and bright there. So there we are, we've gone into constant voltage mode, 24.3 volts, lovely bright Christmas lights. So my next thought was perhaps there's something strange going on inside this and I wanted to see what would happen if we just um, set the voltage down to nothing. So I took the voltage down, bearing in mind this is still with an 8 volt input, um, take the voltage down, all the way down. I didn't want to hit 25 volts on the output at any stage really, especially when I haven't asked for it. And I discovered a weird quirk in the software here. But, um, let's go all the way down to zero. There we go. So we've got our output set to zero. We'll save that and we'll switch the output on. And it's going up. And up. And up. Which, given that it's set to zero, seem really rather odd. Um, and up. And up. And up. And we're getting really quite bright there. Um, I'll kill that to save my Christmas lights and I discovered that at 0.13 volts everything's fine. The output is the same as the input from the power supply. We're getting 7 volts out of the power supply. can't actually see the light. Oh, and the wires have fallen off our lights. There we go. So we're getting 7.1 volts out of the unit now. The lights are dim. But if I drop that by 0.1 of a volt, suddenly we start to ramp up. Again, I'll just increase that by 0.1 of a volt, and it drops down. And if I I'll do this again, set it to 0.12 volts on the output, and the output starts to rise up, which was very puzzling. And we're getting brighter and brighter. And, um, well, I'll unplug the lights at this point just to see where this goes. But it's keeping climbing for an output that's set to 0.12 volts. That's somewhat out of spec. And this unit can deliver up to 80 volts of output, it says. 8 to 80 volts on the output. And we're still climbing. Sorry, this isn't going to be the most exciting thing since it only does one volt per second. But it shouldn't be doing anything at all. It's set to an output voltage of zero and it's got an input voltage of seven volts. And we've climbed well past the 80 volt maximum this unit has. The output capacitors are only actually rated at 100 volts. So um, it wrapped around to one volt there. Um, there's got to be a bug in the firmware. So. Turn that back on again. The yeah, output set to zero volts. Set it to something low. It's got no issue whatsoever. But set it to zero, and up we go. Now I don't know if I left this thing, if it's going to put enough volts out to destroy itself. And I don't really want to find out because I spent £18 on this thing and actually I got it mostly for fun. Um, the fact that it doesn't start up when it's got a load attached, the fact that it puts 25 volts out on the input, really this is just so I can experiment and muck around. So 
that's not a huge problem for what I actually bought the unit for. I was never going to seal it in a case and expect it to work properly. But um, it kind of limits the usefulness of this, that it can't start up with a load attached. It can't start up without putting 25 volts on the output briefly. It can't start up with drawing, without drawing an amp of current, even with no load attached. And um, it's potentially able to destroy itself. Um, other than that, the unit seems to work fine. Um, if I don't attach a load until after the thing's got input power, if I don't set a very low voltage on the input, um, it works fine. But this is really quite some bug in the firmware. That's, I guess the most it can do is 101 volts. Seems to um, run out of steam at that point. Oh, it's hit the current limit on the power supply now and killed itself. So, far from perfect, I'm afraid. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers, folks. That's all from me.